The eruption at the summit of Kilauea remains pause. Lava is no longer flowing on the crater floor. Low rates of ground deformation and modest rates of seismicity continue across the volcano. On March 10, the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory flew a helicopter over the summit area. Numerous outgassing sites were present on the crater floor, but no active lava was seen on the surface. On that same day, for the first time, geologists set foot on the main island that was created during the initial hours of the December 2020 eruption. In this photo, the observatory crew can be seen in orange working on the northwestern edge of the island. The geologists are studying the deposits on the surface of the island to learn more about the first part of the 2020 eruption, when lava encountered the water lake that was previously in the crater. The island is reported to have a thin surface of glassy spatter and tephra from the more recent summit eruptions that started in September 2021 and January 2023. Kilauea is still at an alert level of watch. Scientists say that while the resumption of eruptive activity at the summit no longer appears to be imminent, it is still possible that another magma intrusion or lava eruption could occur in the near future, with little or no warning. There is a change in the alert level for Mauna Loa Volcano. On Thursday, the U.S. Geological Survey changed the status of Earth's largest active volcano following its eruption late last year. From the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. Mauna Loa has been quiet for the past three months since the eruption ended on December 13, 2022. The number of earthquakes beneath Mauna Loa's summit has returned to background levels. Inflation of Mauna Loa continues as magma replenishes the summit magma chamber. Accordingly, the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory is lowering the volcano alert level for ground-based hazards from advisory to normal and the aviation color code from yellow to green. In conjunction with this change, Mauna Loa updates will change from weekly to monthly, with the next monthly update on April 6, 2023. Since its first well-documented eruption in 1843, the USGS says Mauna Loa has erupted 34 times with intervals between eruptions ranging from months to decades. The giant volcano last erupted in November and December 2022. The last eruption prior to that occurred in 1984. The Mauna Loa Observatory is back measuring the carbon dioxide in the Earth's atmosphere, three months after the end of the lava eruption that forced scientists to abandon the facility. The famed daily record of global atmospheric CO2 concentration known as the Keeling Curve, maintained by the Scripps Institution of Oceanography at UC San Diego, resumed measurements on March 9th. A helicopter was used to lift a solar power and battery system to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration facility. Lava flows from the volcano cut off the access road to the observatory on November 28th of last year. The team began recording daily greenhouse gas measurements from a temporary location at the University of Hawaii Astronomical Observatory on Mauna Kea. However, that analyzer stopped sending data on March 7th. The cause of the interruption is unclear. NOAA said in February that once access to the Mauna Loa Observatory is restored over the lava flows, there will be a major renovation and facility upgrade at the observatory. This includes refurbishing the Keeling Building, installing fiber-optic infrastructure, and removing obsolete facilities.